Hello. We're gonna be testing the braking with ABS and with no ABS. I've been driving without ABS for quite some time and I'm I'm curious what will be the result because I'm pretty confident in no ABS braking. We're gonna go like 80, 90. I'll see what speed I can get in this road and we'll see. Gonna brake with ABS first, then we're gonna pull out the fuse for the for the ABS and see how the brake without the ABS looks like. I've seen a lot of tests on the internet where people without ABS just slam on the brakes, lock the brakes and get a really bad uh, braking time but that's not really how you should brake without the ABS so we'll see. I'm looking to get few consistent runs, get at least three results close to each other to minimize the influence of my reaction time and speed inconsistency. Messed up run three and four. On the third one I started breaking too late. In the fourth one I started breaking too early. My camera woman went ahead and painted lines, but we won't be taking those into comparison. I'm happy with that one, very close to one of the attempts, and we have three in close proximity. We'll be using these two lines that are almost on top of each other as a score for ABS braking. Okay, we did the test with the uh, ABS, we got three results that are pretty close to each other. On one of them I started braking too late, on one of them I started braking too early, so we're not gonna count them. Now we have three runs that are close to each other. One wasn't recorded because that was a that was a test run, but we get the idea of what the ABS can do. And now we're gonna pop the fuse and see what breaking about the ABS will be. AED cooling relay should be in there. ABS, there we go. 60 amperes. There we go. So 60 that's the ABS. And that should disable the ABS for us. We're gonna start the car now, see if we get the ABS light to come on. And indeed we do. So that means we have no ABS. By the way, there is a <laughs> there is a cover on it because it used not to work, so the previous owner covered it. But as you can see in the video, the ABS is fully functional now, so that, that shouldn't really matter. Okay, let's pause for a second. I've got some explaining to do, what you're gonna see in the clip. After making like five tests with the, with the ABS, I was so used to, to raking with ABS, I just slammed the brakes at the beginning, I was like, well... That's not going well. <laughs> but yeah, you, you can see what happens if you if you lock the brakes. If you just if you don't threshold brake, just you just slam it, then then you, you're gonna fly and you have no control of the car. So this is not how you brake with ABS and don't do it. But if you do find yourself locking the brakes, didn't pay attention, you went too hard, just uh, try to release them as soon as possible to that sweet spot where you're on the on the limit of of locking the tires but not actually doing it you're gonna save your tires you're gonna help your braking distance and you will still have control over the car i went a bit too hard on the brake pedal and locked the front left Distance is slightly worse than all three ABS attempts.
So this is one of the recorded with ABS and these two are. As you can see, that's where most of the braking with, without the ABS are. Uh, so we actually manage on the most part to even shorten the, the distance. I'd say it's pretty much as I expected that they should be close and potentially a little bit better because you can you can stay uh, you can stay in the gear and and help the with uh, help brake with the engine as well there is the i think the second braking with uh, without the abs as you can see uh, i i kind of kind of messed it up i did uh, lock the brakes at the beginning a little bit i went too hard on the pedal so there is slight inconsistency you could you could tell but yeah, it's like a meter away uh, from the from all the other uh, passes so that's how it looks like at the end so this is it if you'd like me to maybe uh, make this test again in the in the dirt in the gravel in the in the snow because it will be uh, snowing quite soon uh, we can do this test again i did not show the speedo as i don't really have a gopro mount or anything i'm just recording with my phone so that was impossible for me to record the the speedo as i went so you kind of have to believe me that i was going 80 on all the passes but yeah, i hope that clears out uh, a bit about braking with and without abs how abs works because ABS doesn't really, as many people claim, shorten the, the braking distance. It helps you control the, the car once you're under braking. It doesn't lock the wheel so you can avoid obstacles and it just makes it easier. Because if, if, you're, if your car isn't equipped or your ABS isn't working, uh, you have to know how to brake without it. As we could see on, on many uh, videos, uh, often people don't. I really wanted to see myself because I don't really try to get myself in the situation where I need to uh, emerge as a brake all of the time. So that's the hardest brake in this Mazda I have seen since I own it. If I'm driving a car without ABS, I will probably not die because of it.